I've been in that surgical room. Thank you. I'm seeing you today with medically intervened eyes, and I appreciate exactly what benefit they gave me by wounding me. Because they were willing to trust my own healing capacity. But I also appreciate the concept that we could review each and every one of our therapies and ask about this. Is this therapy made to try and control the body, change it, direct its activity, or is it actually directed towards seeing if we could better elicit, better bring forth the expression of that disintelligibility? Here's the really wild thing. That concept of vitalism actually brings forth a whole new category, a new possibility, a possibility that I don't see anybody talk about. And that is healthcare, as defined as the treatment of diagnosis and treatment of disease, plus vitalism, actually brings forth something that doesn't have any name. So I made up a name. That's one thing philosophers have the privilege of doing. <laughs> this may be the first time you've seen this word. I've actually. Uh, haven't been writing about a lot, I've been talking about it a lot because I'm not a good writer, but I'm a good talker. <laughs> you may know. <laughs> Metatherapeutics. The one thing that I noticed that's so hard for us healthcare providers to get past is thinking that in providing health care, what we really mean is if you have a problem, I'm going to define and identify the problem and then figure out how to help you with the problem. That is just not really the full extent of health care. As a matter of fact, let's just call that condition care, disease care, disease treatment. And by the way, does it underlie the whole concept of health care? No insult intended, but I heard that strongly in Ayurveda. I heard that in naturopathy. Guess what, folks? I hear it strongly in chiropractic. When do you need to go see a chiropractor? If you have low back pain, you got a headache. Now, by the way, if you went to see a chiropractor with low back pain or headache, and a chiropractor checked your spine and adjusted you, he wouldn't really be treating your low back pain or headache. He would be removing an interference to your body healing itself, and then hold his fingers tight and say, oh, I hope it works for this guy. I hope his neck controls it. If, if a neck can get rid of that low back pain, I'll look really good. Because chiropractic intervention is really very much more a remove and interference rather than try and take control of the body and run it. Using category two, not category one. Still therapeutic, though. So what does metatherapeutic mean? It means if we're going to talk about vitalism in healthcare, we get the privilege of having a way to talk about health in healthcare as well as disease in healthcare. Because as a healthcare provider, are there things I could do to you? You mentioned some wonderful ones that would actually address a better expression of my health rather than wait until I have a problem, then this medicatrix nature, eh? Heal the problem. Well, with the bigger idea of who the healer is, yes, it does mean that. So there's such a thing as metatherapeutics. Therapeutics, look it up in any dictionary, procedures directed toward the objective of treating, curing, specific disease or condition. As a matter of fact, diagnosis drives that process because to put up a therapeutic intervention, guess what you have to do first? Any and every therapeutic intervention demands what? First, you identify the problem, doesn't it? Right? Because the therapy for one problem may not be the same thing as the therapy for another problem. So, identify the problem. Tell me what you're going to do about it. That's the therapeutic system. Chiropractic, not a saying by this weird, chiropractic can be considered therapeutic in one respect if chiropractic identifies the subluxation as the problem and proposes to adjust the subluxation. The only therapy that's forced to get rid of subluxations. And then the body starts to heal better, and then the cancer gets better, the diabetes miraculously resolved, we have spontaneous remission. No, we have the expression of the body's fundamental wisdom. So then what's metatherapeutics? Metatherapeutics is interactions that help to enhance the expression of the body's innate intelligence in a metatherapeutic arena. Performance in all other areas of life and disease, other than disease and sickness. Life University has some programs in how to help athletes be better athletes. Exactly what condition is that treating? I guess it's the condition of running too slow. <laughs> <laughs> What's the 
diagnosis before you adjust an athlete to make sure that he can run that mile in one-tenth of a second faster from within himself. It may not be any diagnosis. That benefit goes way beyond uh, defining a specific condition or problem. So I think that the first and most important thing that actually getting an honest and understanding discussion of vitalism, the vix intelligere nature, that we all say it is a part of every person's body, is actually the driving consciousness within every person's body, reflected in physiology, reflected in healing, reflected in thinking and loving and emotions, reflected in spirituality. Fundamental living consciousness to be expressed better. The first thing it does is it breaks the stranglehold that strictly a therapeutic approach has on healthcare right And opens healthcare conceptually to the possibility it could actually address where does health come from rather than what disease do you have and how can I help you? Doesn't eliminate therapeutics, by the way. Metatherapeutics looks like this. And therapeutics fits right in there. Because that everything that could possibly go wrong with your body is also part of you're probably functioning, trying to live its life. No. Metatherapeutics is a bigger concept of healthcare. Meta means go beyond. Not non-therapeutics, not anti-therapeutics. By the way, not arguing for the word, you can call it Fred. But am I arguing for the concept? Yes, I think it's the first consequence of actually embracing vitalism as an attitude towards our fellow human beings. So, respecting and re recognizing respecting the primacy of the body's own innate intelligence and its priorities would turn our current healthcare priorities upside down. Now, I'm not saying re uh, uh, respecting the primacy because we live in a healthcare system right now that accepts the primacy of our scientific understanding of the body as the operant intelligence working. Doesn't it? Right? Who's named the doctor? Doctor means learned. Who's learned in a healthcare professional interaction? The guy outside. Vitalism says, the chiropractors have said this, philosophy simply compels the logic of it. It says the doctor's really within. The doctor's within. First. Right? <clears throat> so, if we actually gave recognition and respect to the primacy of the body's own innate intelligence, it would turn our priorities upside down. This is what our current crisis intervention driven healthcare system looks like. That's our number one priority. Two trillion dollars, 90% of which is spent on that. That's our second priority. How big is that? Integrative healthcare so far? How big a piece of medicine is it? 10% of it? That's good. That's great. Wouldn't you like to see it be 50% of it? And by the way, how much of our healthcare system is spent on metatherapeutics? Don't say nothing, because every dollar we spend on water purification is a metatherapeutic dollar, isn't it? What are the healthcare benefits? What disease does water purification plant treat? Well, it makes it prevents cholera, so that's good, right? That's why we clean up our water, right? Actually, water purification is a metatherapeutic intervention. Right? Something we do about our environment that has benefits way beyond the therapeutic. What's the diagnosis that water purification is the treatment for? Contact. But that's also our lowest priority, dollar spent. Absolutely. This is what I think a vitalistic healthcare system would look like. I think it would look like one, two, three. Is there a role for that? Thank you for my vision. Yes. Is there a role for that? Yes, if you're going to have to help me, I'd like to help you, have you help me help myself before I have to take over and run it. And number one, you know, I've actually spent my life trying to stay healthy rather than hope that when I get really sick, there'll be someone there to pull my chestnuts out of the fire. But if I get really sick, I want someone there to pull my chestnuts out of the fire. <laughs> you know, it goes both ways. It's not a contradiction. 